Hey guys, it's Johnny on Jimmy Master Animatronics, and today what I have to show you is something really cool. This is the Jimmy Animated Life Size Pirate Skeleton with Hat. And I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't planning on making this review so early, but I've been absent from the channel for a little while, so I thought I might as well give you guys something pretty cool to see. So yes, this is the Pirate Skeleton with Hat. As you can see, it does not have a hat, and it never did, uh, except maybe a while back when it was made, but I did not receive it with the hat. It is also known as the Captain, as shown on a label that was on the shirt that actually came off of it, and I cannot find, but if I do, I will show it some other time. So this was a prototype Obviously, it was uh, intended to be a pole-based character, but this has a collapsible base, and it doesn't have a button on it, as you can see. It's just a hole, like the Beheaded Brides had, and it doesn't even have a bottom on the base. It's just hollow, and the only thing the base is necessary for is the adapter jack. It actually plugs in from there instead of the head. So, there's a lot of crazy detail on this. This is a suit that's never been used on any other item before, and it's just something that I never really expected to find or see or anything, and I just, it's very unique. However, it's, it's, uh, it has the same audio as the Pirate Skeleton from 2013, so it may even be an early model of that. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna go up and show you some of the details on this guy. So there's the base, and like I said, it's hollow on the bottom, you can't even, like, there's no bottom to it. And this is actually the base to one of the spirit characters, like Freddy or Jason, because it has a uh, Try Me Jack, and it has uh, the pass labels that were put on here, even though this wasn't even an item that was passed, it, it's a prototype. So it's from one of the later models, maybe, uh, I'm thinking Freddy because he was sold the latest. And this was made in, I believe, 2012 or 2013. So it could also be like a 2011 model, like Dr. Shivers or something like that. Those also have Trimie Jacks. Or uh, even a later model of the Edwardian Butler. But that's just what I'm assuming. I, I'm not exactly sure. And yes, it is collapsible. It was stuck at uh, four feet when I got him, and I thought that it was just like all assembled on this collapsible base, but it was just stuck in that position. So it is an item that can go up to six feet and down to three feet. And we were able to <laughs> get it shipped that way because it, <laughs> it would be hard to ship an item at four feet. But anyway, here is the coat. It's made out of a, a cheap material, and it's it's kind of fraying at the edges here. But it's just it has some pretty nice cartoony detail that I think really fits this character well. Uh, it might go better with a cartoon face. This is more of a realistic face, and uh, but I don't know. Yeah, and there's a belt here, and. A little ribbon that he ties around his waist. The hands are from a released model. There's nothing really special about that. And I will show you the original showroom tag here. There's some fishing line from my parts bin. I don't know what this. But anyway, this just lists it as the life size animated KD pirate with hat in a pack of two. And as you can see, it does have. A hat there and the item number is seven four one one zero all right now we're focused more onto the coat some nice design here the sword is hand painted And the 
head moves, the eye lights up. There's actually an eye patch in this eye. He might have had a strap around it at one point, but no longer. It's just a, a foam pad in there. The mouth moves, the head moves, and the arm moves. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'm going to show you on the back of the head, there's some pretty cool stuff. There's some writings, signatures, and stuff like that on the neck here. And then on the back of the head, there's some more. There's the item number, and there's actually another item number here down at the bottom. And some writing in Chinese, maybe? I'm not sure. But anyway, that's that. And there's nothing really else to say about it. I'm going to go ahead and show you the item. Just plug them in. need to turn them on because I, I think he's turned off right now. <laughs> Maybe it's sound out. It's probably sound activated. And as you can see, the, the wires are actually soldered on backwards for the eye. And that's like you can tell because when the mouth moves, the LED flickers, so they're actually soldered on wrong. But I'm not going to change that because that's how it was originally assembled. So. It's not turning off. Don't make a fuss now. It's for you to walk the plank. I'm afraid I've got bad news. In a moment, you'll look just like me.
few more times. What do you think, lads? Do we send this one to the bottom of Davy Jones' locker? I hope you enjoyed this very special review and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.